so welcome to Slipmas. I'm excited for another Slipmas video. I thought I would do an anti haul slash roasting Christmas gift sets as today's video. Just thought I would do a good chill, throw it back, have a cup of tea video. I thought seeing as Christmas shopping's underway, it would be a good time to throw it out. So. This is what not to buy as Christmas presents. Around the time of Christmas, everyone goes into consumer mode. As in like the mode of consumption. You're buying things for some people, you know what to get them. And some people you actually have no idea what to get them. So you end up buying these random gift sets that sound appealing, like they're good value for money. But really, are they good value for money? There are skincare sets, makeup sets beauty set, sets of Nivea gift sets, there's even simple ones. Before I tell you at the end of the year what the best and worst makeup is, I thought I'd tell you what you shouldn't buy. I thought I'd tell you what's a complete waste of money off the bat. So it's time to rant about it though, quick disclaimer, because I hate them. But sometimes they're good and useful to put at the start. They're a good thing to buy if you want to share some luxury makeup with your friends or do stocking fillers. This is great but for me I'm talking the perspective on giving to one person or for you keeping it for yourself. I did something that I find I enjoy doing scrolling the internet and I typed in holiday gift sets this is what I found. The first one is the Body Shops Bath Bomb set. This is perfect if you're going to split them up, but you get two of each. So you're not really getting the value for money, it's not worth it. You're only trying out three different bath bombs. But I do have sensitive skin and I only really take showers, I don't really take baths. I wouldn't recommend bath bombs if you've got sensitive skin. And also you're better off choosing individual bath bombs, it's way cheaper because this costs £10. Next is the Soap and Glory X Xena set. I've had the Soap and Glory set before and you just never use everything in the set. But it's just not worth it because you're not going to use every product, you're always going to get something that you're perhaps uninterested in. Like, I still have like one product from that gift set. Which I'm gonna get. Like this has been like one of the few products that I've actually continued to use. Like that's how much I've used it. I've only not been keeping up with my hand care routine. This I just like to whack on my nails because it helps keep them looking good. Also, you get so many products like just too many products in this one great if you're going to share but for one person that's just too many products to get through when you can probably buy things on their own you can get individual products that are much cheaper this costs £32.50 that's a lot next is the number 7 gift set the price tag is uh, disgusting it was £80 now down to £40, which is a lot for a mini, considering what you get, which is the Protect Perfect Intense Advanced Day Cream, 150ml, number 7, Protect Perfect Intense Advanced Night Cream, 50ml, number 7, Protect Enhanced Advanced Eye Cream, 15ml, number 7, Protect Perfect Lip Care, 10 mils when you can probably get a lip balm cheaper than that like there's plenty of good lip balms obviously i've seen some gift sets like i've seen a nivea lip balm set which i probably would actually buy to give to someone else because you always need lip balm like i have so many lip balms like i'm gonna do a makeup collection video on this channel or it might be an after dark one depends but i have so many lip balms this is just great to whack on my lips. Number 7 Intense Results Nourishing Hydration Mask. 
100 mil number seven protect enhance advanced dual action cleansing water number seven advanced retinol 1.5 percent complex night concentrate 10 mils number seven age defined mascara black number seven Biodegradable cleansing wipes, 30 wipes. Number 7 retinol products sold in boots. This one's more of a stocking thing, but I don't think it's worth buying. And this is the Kylie Lip Kits. They're good because you get a lip liner and a lipstick. Like a bullet lipstick. But you can buy them separate for cheaper. Same with like one I've seen of Ted Baker's. And also they're like £26. You can get cheaper ones, buying them separate. Next is the Ted Baker Cosmetics Bag. What you get is a lip gloss, a body shimmer and a body spray. You don't get a lot and you're paying for the brand. You obviously get the makeup bag, but it's £14. You can buy a makeup bag for much cheaper than that. Next is the Ted Baker Bath Fizz. To be honest, you only get one type of bath bomb. I know. But you always take showers and baths, you don't just take baths, so it takes a long time to go through them. They're like £10 for one bath bomb, which is a lot. You can buy individual bath bombs for that price and cheaper. Not worth it. Next is the Too Faced Holiday Gift Set. They put the same theme out every year around the world. This year it's London themed. Don't buy it because it's cute. It's not worth £30.40. The packaging's even gone downhill. Like it's not even something you'd display and your quality is dreadful, just don't. Continuing on the Too Faced front, they're, they're melted in Paris, limited edition, doesn't mean you should go buy it. For a start you only get two shades, you can get four, but you get two repeats. So unless you're splitting it, I wouldn't buy it or you're into them. But don't just buy them for the packaging, it's not worth £20.80. There's a lot more value for money than you can get. Getting them individuals cheaper saves money. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you in another video. Bye.